All right. Hey. Detect you piece of shit. You fucking You 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 fucking you fucking what mate? Pick it up Detect the amulet there we go you piece of shit. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't detect the emulator. I'm too busy fucking. Oh, no game. Excuse me. Three thirty-six. Uh, what was it, F9? Yeah, there we go. Hello? Anybody in here? I'm gonna pilfer through your shit. Uh, camera and some kaleidoscopes. Knickknacks. Everything is neatly arranged on top of the top of the desk. The books are all about camera and photography. She is so dedicated. Yeah, I bet. Uh huh. No. We got any new information? Uh, machinery. Uh, handwritten letters, books. Yet yeah, nothing. You all right there, Miku? Yeah, I mean, you you have fun doing that. I'm gonna go look at something else because you're weird. Oh, the chill breeze. Why can't it be raining this much in real life at my place of residence, goddammit? Prinicus Pranicus. Thank you for shouting out. Jarrington Steelsworth. The 287th. I was debating about doing Homecoming, uh, but I decided, uh, we'll save that for post. Whatever the fuck the, the Silent Hill stream is. Um, assuming I'm still streaming. Alright, I guess we ain't got shit. Emutin Steel the 666th how doth you do? Kitty. Miku, that's all. Never, never singing again. Oh, Ray, good morning. That's all? I don't remember exactly where I heard it, but... I feel like I've been hearing it in my dreams lately. I don't have any idea what the lyrics mean. Could it be some sort of dialect? Dreams? 
Oh god! A lullaby. Oh yeah, that's right. The snake bruise. Every time I dream of the house, the snake-like tattoo gets bigger and bigger. The stabbing pain is worse every day. If things carry on like this, it will eventually cover my whole body. And then, the dreams, the manner, what do they mean? How can I escape? Uh, I changed the game. Yeah. I mean, title I'm keeping the, is the same, because I just said the title is a generic. Spookies! Which I think is fitting. But, like, the, the game itself should be, uh, all fully updated. If not, then Twitch is lying to me. Which I wouldn't be surprised at, because, you know, Twitch fucking lies. Miku was singing the same lullaby I heard inside the manor. She says she heard the song in her dream, too. No, not shared dreams. Next Nextington steals worth. How doth you do, sir? Is everybody excited to be really fucking disappointed at the Silent Hill thingy? Yes. This game is haunted by Domino's in has she been having the same dreams? Is she being lured into the house, too? Just like Yoshino Takigawa and me. Oh. In the small room where I heard the lullaby, red dolls were nailed to the walls. Inside was one of the girls dressed as a shrine maidens who tried to impale me in my daydream. My Katsune, yeah. Who is she? And what was she doing here? Doing in there? Or it could be uh, Miku's cousin, Emu. Hatsune Miku. That's the spirit next. The girl who works as my assistant, the song she was singing was the lullaby I heard inside that manor. Is Miku having the same dreams as me? She lost a relative, someone close. Is that who she sees in her dreams, just like me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty. You know Hatsune Miku. What are the dreams about? I don't really remember too well, but I'm singing the song in my dreams. While I'm singing, I start to feel homesick. Like, I'm remembering someone important. At the end of the dream, I'm so scared. All I can remember is that I'm very afraid. That's just the way dreams are, I guess. Uh-huh. Kitty. <laughs> yeah, I go into ba basically every single direct or showcase or whatever with uh, no expectations uh, because so many of them are underwhelming. And I'm going into this one with even less expectations. Uh, especially if Konami really was, if that is the genuine Silent Hill official YouTube channel. And, uh, Konami fucked up. As, as I've said numerous times before, I, I don't want a remake. And I, I'm sure it's probably a fucking remake of Silent Hill 2. Which means they'll fuck it up somehow. Well, we figured, uh, for modern gamers, you should, uh, have a, a little, uh, quick time event to suffocate Mary with a pillow. I'm sure that's fucking some stupid executive meeting. Um, I guess we're 
based on the leaked information, we're also going to be getting fucking information on the fucking next Silent Hill movie. It's Christoph Gantz is coming back and doing another Silent Hill movie, apparently. I mean, I, I, I like the first Silent Hill movie well enough, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know, I don't necessarily know why it needs to be in a fucking Silent Hill showcase. A new movie. Also, apparently the, the direct, or showcase, or whatever, according to that leak, is 48 minutes long. And there are three things, I'm just like, how the fuck are you gonna do fucking three things spread across 48 minutes? But, uh, that, that, uh, that lost signal thingy or whatever, that, that still could easily be a fucking shatter drop demo or whatever. Dude, one can dream, Ghoul Guts. Yeah. Fucking give me localized Silent Hill play novel, god damn it. Excuse me. An envelope has been delivered through the letterbox. Letter from K3. Dear you, I'm sending you a testimony tape I just found about the urban legend. If I give it to you, I know you'll take good care of it. I found several other tapes, but as they're quite old... Having been dubbed by a gramophone, they're damaged. I'm trying to get them restored now. I'll send them to you when they're done. Lately, I've certainly been researching folklore, legends, folk tales, and folk religion. That was both your and Mafuyu's field, wasn't it? It's an interesting world, but I don't want to get too deep into it. How's Mafuyu's sister? Her name was Miku, right? I've been searching everywhere I can, but I still don't know Junsei Takamine's whereabouts. Maybe he was spirited away, too. If you've got anything, let me know. Mio's health is not good, so I put her in the hospital. She only wakes once every two days, and then only for a couple hours at a time. I've got to hurry with my research. For God's sake, Amakura. I thought the Resident Evil showcase was tomorrow, uh, Jer. Photo of Mew. Seems to be a cassette. Maybe I can play it on the tape deck in the room. Mafuyu Hinasaki. Yeah, I thought the shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. I believe they're going to be showing off more of the Resident Evil 4 remake and probably a little bit of the Resident Evil Village uh, DLC. More fucking shitty reverse shit. Uh, I don't see them, I, I don't foresee them announcing anything else, but I mean, you know, maybe they will, maybe it'll be cool. Maybe we'll get a Resident Evil 4 demo, dude! Tape. Manner of Sleep A. In my dream, I saw my mother in that manner. I'd like them to. Yeah, it would be nice, Grady. Inside, there was an old shrine. It was cold. Snow was falling. I could hear a song. There were so many people going into the shrine. It, it was like a funeral procession. I could smell incense burning. Everyone was hiding their faces. My mother was among them. Probably. No matter how many times I called her, we live in a hellscape. Further and further. We here at Capcom know how much you love Resident Evil, so we've decided to bring back Resident Evil Gaiden. No, it's not a remaster or a remake, it's just the original game. 70 bucks, please! If I went any further, I wouldn't be able to come back. But I thought 
We know there's been fan demand for a Resident Evil Code Veronica remake, and that's why we've decided to remaster Resident Evil Gun Survivor 2! That, that's good enough, right? That's the hellscape we live in. Mafuyu. Written in K's letter was the name of Miku's brother, Mafuyu. He was a friend of K and Mu who disappeared while on the trail of missing writer Junsei Takamine. People say he was spirited away. I knew Miku had lost a relative, but I thought he had died. She never spoke about her brother. That photo is Miku still longing for the brother she lost. Yeah, basically. No, that's too good, Emu. It'd be a fucking mobile phone game. A mobile phone fucking live service game. And somebody at Capcom's gonna be like, What's better? Don't you guys have phones? Incidentally, on that note, I was, I was really very amused by uh, Donkey's Overwatch 2 comment. What's the matter, Blizzard? You guys don't have PCs to develop a new game? <sighs> Good old dunk. But yes, I'm still in camp uh, Remake Code Veronica before remaking Resident Evil 4. And also Dead Aim. And Survivor. Shit, even Remake Zero before Resident Evil 4. Shit, even Remake Resident Evil 1 again before remaking Resident Evil 4. That said, uh, of them, if Silent Hill 2 is getting a remake, uh, Resident Evil 4 remake is the one that my expectations will be. It's an, it'll be probably an alright game, whereas my expectations for a Silent Hill 2 remake are very low. Ray, what's the matter? Miku, that person in the picture on your desk. That's my older brother. He's been missing for quite some time. I... Didn't know. I'm sorry for bringing it up. I was just wondering. Is that all I can do? Can't be like, yo, hey. Alright, fine. There will be erotic... Erotic DLC, though, for that uh, visual novel, uh, you know. But it's just going to be uh, Mr. X Nemesis slash fiction. And it's just going to go, and then they banged hard. And that's the extent of the eroticism. I know because, uh, you know, my father, sister's brother's uh, former roommate works at Capcom, and they told me. But there is going to be a second erotic uh, uh, DLC expansion for the, the visual novel, and it's just going to go, and then a licky boy ate Renzi's ass, and flossed his insides with his tongue, and that's it. <clears throat> I 
I will say I like that uh, little spooky spooks that didn't really call attention to itself. Yo, you see that spooky ghost? No? Any spooky ghosts in here? Listen. I can tell you how it could get better. How it can get far, far better, Greedy. Far more romantic. It involves a box of wine, a pillow fort, dinosaur chicken nuggets, although if you can't get those, Mickey Mouse chicken nuggets will suffice, and a DVD copy of Hocus Pocus. That's how you make it better. We doing? Who's getting spooky? Oh, oh fuck! Are we Miku now? Oh my god! What a twist! That I kind of knew about going into this game. Wait a minute! Hey, you get the fuck out of here! Topless tattooed ghost. The fuck out. The evil dream. This is the Fatal Frame 1 environment. You sneaky fucks. You sneaky sausages. Sanskrit like character. The door appears to be locked. Oh my god. <clears throat> Give me it. Herbal medicine. I love it. Look, Miku, you've been through this shit before, alright? It's just a bunch of stupid, spooky ghosties. We'll be fine. Oh, no. In my restless memes. Oh, my God! This... is this... Camera Obscura! Yeah, hey, how's it going? Hey. It still might be... It still might be my favorite MST3K get at gag. Like everybody fucking loves the the um the 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 fucking the mini 
names thing of what's his face, like you know, Lance Uppercut, uh, Big Mick Large Huge, that sort of thing. But that one in I, th I think the movie's Final Justice, the, that that Canadian thriller movie with Roused Hour, the one with the super dweeby kid, where every single time he like picks up anything or like interacts with anything. The riffers just go eh, 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 as if he's just struggling because he looks so fucking dweeby. That fucking kills me every single goddamn time. I love it. Uh, all the characters are different camera and work in different ways. Interesting. Just make sure the camera don't obscure my balls. Ah, uh, can somebody quote that? What Emu just said, please. That's a good one. That's a good one. Stone slant. Thank you, Grady. You know, uh, Emu, in... in um, other parts of the world, the franchise is known as, like, Zero. And the reason for that is because they want you to zero in on these nuts. Oh, hi. Excuse me? Can you, like, fuck the hell off? Too soon. Oh, alright. Maybe not. Oh, God, you... You are a spicy piece of shit, ain't you? Fuck off! I didn't get rid of the emote. Emote. something on the floor. Uh, oh, goody! A little, a little spooky mask. Stone amulet, huh? Special ability! Sacred stone! Uh, press the circle button. Blah, 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 blah! James is dumb. James doesn't use any of that shit. It's true. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm sure at some point somebody may eventually gift a uh, subscription to Nightbot to that channel on whoever's channel that is. Speaking of which, uh, give me a quick second here. No. 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 Yes. 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 This reminds me. Yeah, fuck you, Nightbot! Hey! Miku, please, it's, it's just a rope. Hello? Any spooky boys in here? <clears throat> the door appears to be unlocked! 
ropes can be pretty scary. Nobody said I had to go in that room again, Greedy. I don't I didn't like that room in Fatal Frame 1. I'm not going to like that room in Fatal Frame 3. God fucking damn it. This is the fucking worst room. You sons of bitches! Come on, pull your bullshit! I fucking know it's coming! Fucking do it! Yep! Where you at? Yo, hi! Hello, you spooky fuck! Get the fuck off me! You fucking vile miscreant! Excuse me! Where the fuck do you go? Bro, you eating ass? Get away from me. No! Oh, hello. So I actually did use it by accident, but that's interesting. The fuck out of here! I'm a dumb ghost. Yeah. There's something on the floor. Yes, I did come. What's it to you, you stupid ghost? Good old wandering monk. Oh boy! Responding to the Twilight Stone. Mustache dead? Six moves remain! Why is my brain breaking right now? Oh, brain, brain, no want work. Yeah, I hate that room. Oh, hi. Excuse me? Can we hit the photo? Oh, oh, oh. Tease it. Tease it. Tease it. Somebody quote Amy, please. Uh, looks like a diary. Crimson Diary! Snow is falling. It's a quiet night. This could be the last snow of the ten years of changing seasons I have watched from this window. As I watch the snow, 
I get the feeling that something has passed. Finally, I have severed all of my attachments. I'll give my body over to the ropes and seal the gates. Kizuna Himuro. Oh, no. The rope priestess. Himuro Mansion. The memories of a girl who is tied up here. No. Picture, blah, blah, blah. What's up, bruh? You down here, bruh? Oh, my God. I hate you! No! What's up, ghost? Miku, please. Oh, this design is neat and horrifying. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Go away from me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a spooky ghost. Oh, fuck, I missed. Bad ghost. Here you go. Piece of shit. Where the fuck you go? Oh, hi. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 get the fuck off. Miku, please. See you. you spooky fuck. Whoa, hello. Alright, you 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 fucking asshole. <laughs> no Oh shit, my last my last save is back here. All right, come at me, bro. Yeah, hi, girl. Here you go.
the fuck out of here! Huh? You fucking like it? You cheating fucking bitch! No, fuck you! I will be a shave scumming asshole, fuck you. Cheating fucking ghosts? No! I really gotta move that. Hello? Come on. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me, ghosty. Excuse me? Thanks. And thank you for getting me out of my camera. You're the best. Around. Nothing's ever gonna get you down. Where the fuck you go? Oh, hi. Get the fuck out of here! I'm a spooky ghost. <laughs> you cheating fucking whore! I keep fucking hitting left trigger by mistake. Get the fuck off me. <laughs> why? Why? Why doth ghosts cheat, Greed? Why? Why do they do what they do? Ghosts be mean. The fuck you go, you piece of shit. What's up, baby? Hi! Can you get away from me? Oh, hi. Get the fuck out of here! Can you eat my ass? Like, get the fuck out of here? What's up, baby? Oh, fuck you! The, the, the circle was on you, you cheating asshole! You piece of shit. Oh, you fucking scumass. Come on! The fuck out of here. Too slow for the, the super counter or whatever. Excuse? Eat shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Home Scalarola! I countered her, you say. Fuck, I don't remember what I did. I did it anyway. Let's go. Yeah, hey, asshole. Home skullabilla bing bang. How doth you do? Do you do well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crimson Diary, these nuts. I'm a piece of shit. Now that I know you're there and you're an asshole. What's up, bro? Come on, bro!
the fuck out of here! I'm gonna fucking use some Type 61. Fuck you. I hate you. No, fuck. Eat shit. Come on, bro! Bro? Doggy dog? Uh, you can eat my ass, you dirty piece of shit. <clears throat> Not much, just, uh, you know, playing some spooky shit, waiting to be disappointed by the Silent Hill stream. You know how to do. Oh, fuck you! Get out of here. What did I just say? A cheating piece of shit, and I hate you. Stay tuned at the Resident Evil Showcase to find out how you can get your official Steve Burnside NFT. Excuse me? Pretty why? Are you... Yeah, this ghost, uh, I don't, I don't like this ghost. I like his, I like its design. Pretty sure it's a lady. But, uh, yeah, this ghost, uh, can eat my fucking asshole. Unroasted. Out of here! Me, I'm a dumb ghost. I'm fucking dead. Piece of shit. Fucking. Get the fuck out of here. You are not allowed to touch my Legos. Well, yeah, that's that's why uh, this ghost doesn't deserve a cooked asshole. I don't want to go in any further. Mahuyu. Excuse me. Wee. 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 Big brother. Only chin, yeah. Swear to fucking God. Don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it! Don't you fucking do it! Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, back to the corpse party references. Uh, I don't drive my womb, Onichi. Yeah. Save. Huh? 
Gotta get out of this meta quick. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, well, it's a fucking dream. What do you want? Nico? Hello? The fuck do you want? Uh. Yeah, her ability to slow time seems really neat. It's like you can go outside from here. Do you want to go outside? Oh, now I can interact with the door. Now I can interact with it. Fuck you. Over here. The fuck you want? Fuck you, then. I'm going over here. Hello? Oh, I see we're in the proper manner of sleep now. But why does the manner of sleep have part of the Emerald Mansion? Excuse me? No. He he he. No, let me. It's a fucking sheet. Let me through, game. See, so you're going the cool on school of blocking things off. Juan will just lay a, a thing on the ground that you could easily step over, and it's like, no, I do not wish to be rude. I, I mustn't. I see an item in there, and I want the item. Let me in. Let me in. It can be. Depends on your constitution for horror games. Yeah, like what 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 size of Magnum Dong are we talking about? Uh gimme give gimme give Gimme give a quick thingy. I forgot to hit add quote. God damn it. Add quote. I mean, you know, if, if, if it's like the size of a graboid, that might be manageable. If it's a size if it's the size of a fucking sandworm in Dune though. Fuck that. Stay away. It's way too big. Way too big, chat. Speaking of which, uh, Dune Part 2, next year, let's fucking go. Uh, can somebody quote me, please? Banana bread cock coming to a theater near you! No, wait, let me rephrase that. Banana bread cock coming in a theater near you. <laughs> Japanese doll. Mm. Yeah, I would wager a lot of the fear factor stems from one's constitution for spooky horror games. Uh, and I will say there's a lot of really solid, subtle moments of spookiness that I really, re piece of shit. That I actually really, really enjoy across these three games thus far. 
Because I am one to really appreciate the more subtle horror. That or you go like full schlock. One of the two, really. Um, like for the most part, as I've said before, my tolerance for horror games is very high. So I don't really get too spooked. But there's small little moments where I'm like, ooh, that's a spooky... That's some spooky shit I appreciate. But, like, when you get games that do, like, ooga booga booga every, like, 15 seconds, that's when I'm just like, nah, fam. It's more annoying than scary. I'm not terribly fond of jump scare simulators. Me, yeah. the less is more approach. How do you go with something super abstract and fucking weird too? That can also be very effective. Like body horror, uh, can also be very effective too. Like that's one of the reasons why I fucking love Color Out of Space, is because the 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 concept is so fucking abstract and weird and bonkers. Or it's this extraterrestrial color that is spooking everybody. And then there's some genuine fucking body horror. AD. Yeah, fucking Dune, Dune Part 1 is great. I love Dune Part 1. I'm very, 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 very much looking forward to Dune Part 2. I'm a big uh, Denny Villeneuve fan. I still need to see Enemy and Prisoners, though. I hear they're very, very good. But I love Sicario. I really like The Rival. Uh, I love Blade Runner 2049. And I fucking love Doom. Is that where I came from? No. He is. Okay, so she went down this way. Everything over the other way is sealed. But it looked like I couldn't do anything here. Unless I'm just being a big dum dum. Small space at the back, little bookcase, I can see a ladder leading up. Oh, it's probably only a man could move it. Fuck you, Miku. And fuck you, devs. Uh, that door is sealed. Wait a minute. Oh! I didn't even notice this part. Hello? I love broken audio. Thank you, emulation. Miku, I'm assuming Miku's just like, that looks like a sex cage. Dune is the one movie I saw during the pandemic that I fucking really regret not seeing in theaters. Was that Miku's dream? But why? Seems Miku is having the same dreams too. I just I just watched it on HBO Max, uh, and I'm hoping you know by the time Dune Part Two comes out, uh, maybe the pandemic can still be better grasped, and they'll do a re-release of Dune Part One, and then I can watch both in in IMAX. Let's fucking go! Oh, oh I'm going to be right back. I'm going to use the restroom real quick.
You should give it a go, Greedy. As a David Lynch fan, I don't defend the David Lynch Dune. I don't think anybody does. But it's it's really solid. It's really solid. And also, I forgot, I stand corrected, there was one other movie I regret not seeing in theaters that I saw during the pandemic. And that was Lizard vs. Monkey. 100% emu. That's, I haven't watched it, but I've been fascinated by it. I really want to get around to watching it at some point. It's fucking wild. The fucking stories about Jordawaski's Dune is just fucking nonsense. Like, holy shit! Like, if that movie got made, it probably would have been a fucking dumpster fire, but holy shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine it would have been great in theaters. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big Godzilla fan. So, not seeing Lizard vs. Monkey in theaters was very sad. Miku? Ray, I'm sorry. I, I don't feel so well. I couldn't sleep. Miku? Uh, oh, Ray, I don't feel so well today. I didn't sleep so well. Miku, did something happen yesterday? I just had a strange dream, that's all. Please, don't worry about me. By the way, a letter came for you this morning. I left it in the kitchen. It's filled with pornography. Thanks. Get some rest. And then there's this. Photo of Kay. Kay Amakura. Is, isn't this him? Where did you find this photo? Yesterday, looking through some of my brother's albums. My brother worked on the same editing team as you for a while. I thought there might be a photo of him left over from those days. I see. Thank you. On the back of the photo was written Kei Amakura, recent photo of author. Okay. You have anything else to say, Miku? No. Booty! Yeah, it's always a bummer when they're... I, I, I always hear about shitty, shitty, shitty fucking theaters that it breaks my heart. The house in Miku's dream is different from the one I've been seeing. The corridors hung with the rope, the blood altar, the woman torn apart. Miku has a memory of these things. Is the place somehow connected to Miku and her memories of her brother? Yes. Uh, she wanders the house in her dreams looking for Mafuyu, her brother. She's always been so cheerful and strong. What happened to her in the past? Is she still wounded by what happened, just like me? The girl who called Miku back when she tried to leave her dream. Your brother's here too, she said in a sad, mournful voice. Miku was stunned by what she had. Well, the big kicker, home skillet, about IMAX, I don't, I don't know if it's changed, but a lot of IMAX theaters are fucking fake IMAX theaters. There's only a handful of real IMAX theaters, as far as I'm aware. Now, seeing a movie in a real IMAX is fucking awesome. Seeing in a, seeing a movie in a fake IMAX, it's serviceable. But it also depends on if you have a shitty fucking crowd with you. Like, uh, you know, I saw Blade Runner 2049 in IMAX with Lee. And some asshole parent took his little shit kid with him. And his little shit kid got fucking bored. Because, of course, his little shit kid would get fucking bored in Blade Runner. So his little shit kid pulled out his fucking phone... I started fucking playing YouTube videos at full fucking volume in the middle of fucking Blade Runner. I was like, no, I'm not fucking having this. So I got him thrown out because I'm like, no, bro, I'm not fucking spending goddamn 20 bucks on a fucking IMAX ticket or whatever to have my fucking 
pro date for Blade Runner fucking ruined, man. Not necessarily. You just have to, like, really look into it, home skillet. If it's a theater that didn't have an IMAX screen and all of a sudden has an IMAX screen, it's probably a fake IMAX. Like, if, if you're in Los Angeles, as, as an example, um... The IMAX at Universal City City Walk, that's a real IMAX. Ashi washi. Ashi wa what stop stop it. Stop stop it. Stop playing it, Fallon. Please. Please. Please, Ashi. Please. There's a letter on the kitchen counter. Looks like it's from Kay. Dear you, have you listened to the three tapes I sent before? I'd like you to listen to them before you read the rest. Maybe you won't believe it, but I've had the manner of sleep dream. First, I thought I was just thinking about the manner too much, but after listening to those tapes and a Mew, I'm displaying the same symptoms. In the dream, I'm in a snowy manner. I don't remember it well, but it resembles the house I got the camera obscura from. Just get a bad sense from the manor. Just like the testimonies. The only difference is I was pursuing Mio in the manor and Mio wasn't dead. If the urban legend of the manor of sleep is true, then and I can wake Mio up from her dream, maybe I can save her, even if it makes little sense. I feel like I'm getting closer to the truth. Regards, Kea Amakura. Three cassettes. I posted it in my Discord, Ashy, that you were playing Balan, and Flower just immediately responded with, Oh, honey, no. It's chef's kiss. Listen, my, 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 my audience has seen me go through that fucking game twice, Ashy. They, they even tried to persuade me to give up mid, mid second playthrough. They were like, No, Saber, you've suffered enough. You're so fucking miserable when you stream this. You don't have to do it. And I was like, it was an extra life incentive. It was for the kids. I gotta, I gotta stick with it, man. I suffer for those sick kids. Ray, you've been working too hard. You should get some rest. No! It's raining again. The Quiet Man is way fucking better. The Quiet Man is a fucking great goddamn game. And I will die on that hill. By great, I mean it's a piece of shit, but at least it's fucking hilarious. And it's short. And I look forward to streaming it again. It, it, that, that, that game is so fucking baffling, and I love it. I love how stupid that fucking game is. In the desk drawer, there's a thick envelope. It's from K. Amakura. Perhaps this is the cassette tape from the letter. Dear you, I got a tape on the manor of sleep urban legend from a source at the hospital. Psychiatrist had recorded the medical condition of a patient. There's a lot of background noise as it was record originally recorded on a gramophone. The content is great. It's not quite anthropology, but I think you'll be interested too. It's a lot to ask, but I'd like you to find out about legends or cases of missing people similar to this one. Uh, beautiful. Seems though there is one more old tape. You should. It's a short game. I, I think it's like a two, three hour game, maybe four. Uh, it's it's fucking hilarious. You're not gonna know what happens in it. Because similarly it, it decides to do visual storytelling and fails at it. But by God, is it fucking funny. It is so goddamn funny. 
Well, Emu, you, you know the gimmick about it, right? How how all the audio in the game is muted? All the audio is muffled slash muted, and there's no subtitles. So you have no idea what is happening in the story, even though there's lengthy cinematics of people talking. Because your character's deaf. And then when you beat the game, you get the unlockable feature of being able to hear what everybody's fucking saying. It's, it's wonderful. I haven't done that yet. <coughs> it is... I was laughing so goddamn hard when I first played Quiet Man. I love it. You heard me, Greedy. It's it's a third person fixed camera angled 3D brawler with live action FMB cinematics where you play as a deaf dude and all of the audio in the game is muted slash muffled. So you have no idea what the actual fucking story is. Outside of vague visual storytelling. Um and then when you beat the game, you unlock the 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 uh, the, the the actual audio. Yeah, I mean, I, I it, it looked interesting, Ashy, before it came out, and I was I liked Human Head. They did the original Prey, and they've done a lot of other really really good dev work. Uh, a remake of the Bouncer would be cool. I really like. Oh fuck! That's why I haven't been giving Miku any goddamn film. Forgot to develop it. Shit. Um. Yeah, I, I really like the uh, uh, human head. <coughs> and what uh, Bethesda did to them was super shitty. And the fact that we never got Prey 2 is also really, really shitty. I own the bouncer, but I've never played it. It's it's a game I would like to play on stream at some point, Ashy. Uh, at some point when I have like, I'm not like balls deep in horror and balls deep in extra life incentives and the Yakuza franchise and and Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, but it always looked neat. Like flawed, sure. It was like an early PS2 game, but you know, fuck it, whatever. Oh, I shall, Ashy. Let's say here it's relatively short, so it wouldn't it probably wouldn't take up too much time. I'm a lot more forgiving of older titles unless they play like absolute nonsense bollocks, like Countdown Vampires and Resident Evil Gaiden. But yeah, the Quiet Man is fucking hilarious. I believe my my headcanon explanation for the plot. Because I had no idea what the fuck was going on. Was that the main character was on a warpath and beating up everybody so he could get some Diet Shasta. I believe that was my meme from that playthrough. But I don't remember. Hey! What can I do for you? Take these photos from me! Understood. Understood. I felt that with, uh... It's raining again. Metal Gear Solid 2, when that first came out. I was like, holy shit! Games are never gonna look better! And then it only took like 10 or 15 years for graphics to actually peak. Um, because I, I think the graphical leap between PlayStation 3 and 4 and that generation uh, it was really small compared to previous gens, and same with PlayStation 4 to 5. The device shown here was left by Kunihiku Asao. He used it. Uh, he used it to substantiate the existence of and communicate with the spirit world. He was a brilliant scientist and philosopher, and by 
appropriating Western culture in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, he combined new technology with his theory on the spirit world to prove its existence. It is said a few of his devices were able to capture an unbelievable existence from the spirit world, but posthumously, from that singular beginning, his devices became a fashion item among dilettantes and were scattered about the country. One such device is this projector. Having completed the experimental stage of the camera obscura, a camera that photographs the other world, see above, he created a screen upon which to project special images captured on the film. Records say that the image were projected that could not be seen when they were photographed. Oh no! Home skin litter, it's okay, don't cry. We'll protect you from Renzi, you don't have to cry. Renzi can't harm you anymore. Also, it's almost 12 p.m., so fuck it. Time for beer. You got any shit in here, Miku? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's raining again. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it, Scullet. I'm sure it'll be nifty. I won't be playing it for a hot minute, though. And like I said, if I do, it'll most likely be off screen. Uh, let me just double check to see, since we developed photographs, if there's anything else cool that I can find. Uh, anything over here? Got over 2018. <laughs> It's pretty good. I went in with very, very, very little expectations for it. I had my doubts. And I only re really gave it a chance because I had a lot of friends who I worked with at Naughty Dog who went over to uh, Sony Santa Monica and worked on it. I was like, oh, I want to see what they've been working on for the last year or two or whatever. And, uh, it genuinely fucking surprised me. It was a very, very, very good fucking game. Yeah, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of the OG God of Wars either. Uh, and I was a little less than... Amu I, I wasn't particularly keen on the fact that, like, they were changing to a behind-the-back camera system. And, like... Kind of looking Last of Us-y for the, for the 2018 game. But it was really, really fucking good. It's very well acted, very well written. Um, it was fun. Uh, only part I didn't like is uh, some of the Valkyrie fights. Valkyries can eat my ass. Especially the Queen Valkyrie. Queen Valkyrie can eat my ass multiple times. And I'm sure Ragnarok will be good, too. But I won't be playing that for a minute, for a while. <clears> Too <throat> much spooky shit I gotta finish off. In potentially very little time. There's a bunch of other shit I gotta get around to. Of the original trilogy, Ashy, the only one that I was really, really into was God of War 2. Um, I think I played one of the P the, the first PSP game when they d released it on PS3. I don't think I played the other one, and I barely played Ascension.
My biggest problem with the older God of War games is the fact that Kratos is an unlikable, murdering piece of shit. And they they keep... Okay, hi. And they keep uh, vanishing. They kept trying to make him likable, except for in... Oh, we have a hide feature. Except for in God of War 2. They were like, hey, we have an unlikable piece of shit for a protagonist. What if we, uh, you know... Don't try to make him likable. Does Kay even get a camera? Greedy? Or do I just have to play hide and seek with ghosties? Oh. Hello? What are you doing? Well, I mean, I, the reason why I think he works better in God of War 2 in the original games because they don't try to make him likable. They don't try to make me feel sorry for Kratos in God of War One, uh, in God of War Two. So I like him a lot more in God of War Two because it's like, cool, we're playing as an asshole, and they're not trying to make me feel bad for the fact that I'm playing as an asshole. Um, and I can't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't feel sorry for him because he's a piece of shit. How many days has it been? How many months? How many years? Many outsiders have been brought here. None of them are like him. He said my hair was beautiful. No matter how much I arrange it, he'll probably never know how I feel. All I can do is comb my hair and wait for him. That way, when he comes back with his camera, he'll take my pictures again. He is 100% a completely different character. In, uh... Yeah, I agreed, Greedy. Plus, at least more importantly, too, we kind of get an understanding as to why Joel's kind of a unlikable piece of shit in T. Lou. And we can kind of feel sorry for the situation he's in, even though he kind of continues to make terrible fucking decisions and, and is kind of constantly an unlikable asshole. Whereas Kratos, he starts off as an unlikable piece of shit, and because he's an unlikable piece of shit, does something bad, which makes his life worse, that is supposed to tug at your heartstrings, but he doesn't grow from any of that. That's why I like God of War 2, because they're like, fuck all that, we're just going to embrace the fact that he's an unlikable piece of shit. Oh, same, absolutely. Even as not the biggest fan of Tilu, um, there's a lot of respect that I have for the writing, and I think a lot of the writing does work. Door is locked. And, like, I don't necessarily mind playing as unlikable pieces of shit characters. I think that can be make, uh... Be very interesting and unique. Uh, you just have to, you know, give me... Kind of a better reason. And not try to make me really feel sorry for him. That's one of the reasons why I kind of, I, I dug the first Kane and Lynch, honestly. Uh, yeah, hey, how's it going? Get away from me! Uh, because it was refreshing to play as completely contemptible characters. First time you see shot. And it was like kind of almost a Michael Mann-esque crime drama, just, you know, not quite as... Smartly written or whatever. 
boy. There. That's your that's my best boy. That's all you're getting. But at least when it comes to uh, you know, action game protagonists. Uh, I like uh, ones that have a lot more charisma and are cheeky and fun. Like my boy Dante from Devil May Cry. Or my deadweight son Nero from Devil May Cry. Or Travis fucking Touchdown from No More Heroes. Dante's fucking go! Crazy Uncle Dante. I love it. You should, Ashy. They're bonkers. Or Bayonetta. She's another great fucking protagonist. Action game protagonist. Well, let's see. Everything's fucking sealed. Except for that one door. And it looks like I need a thingy thing. Before I can open it. So. Guess we're, we're, we're dipping. Hello? Herbal medicine. It's great. I still need to get around to playing Bayonetta 2, but I'm gonna like stream Bayonetta 1 first before I do it. Um, Bayonetta 1 does have some minor nitpicks with with some of the 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 variety segments, but. Game is fucking bonkers and so much fucking fun and charming. The first boss fight has you throw a church at a dragon. It's fucking nonsense. I love it. Yeah, hi. Can I run away? I didn't want to crouch. So is she like blocking my path or something? So this is basically a tactical ghost picture action. <clears throat> I'm guessing. I love I love four stealth sections. I mean, I guess it's. The fact that it's not insta-fail is kind of neat, but I'm sure this big bad ghost will fucking rip my nipples off. Will you keep it down, ghost? I'm trying to masturbate. Sucker. I have not played much of Bayo 2, Ashy. I own it. I got it on launch day on the Wii U, uh, and then I bought the Switch for it. But I have never actually gotten around to it. It's been something I've... Oh, fuck me. Uh, I have wanted to get around to, but I kept putting it off. And then I started streaming, and I was like, oh, I'll stream it after I stream Bayo 1. Yeah, hi. Rip my nipples off. Wow, you fucking hit hard, don't you? 
Um, yeah, we can't go there. And I kept putting off streaming Bayo 1 as well. Now Bayo 3 is about to be out. So at some point, I'll stream all three. But it's not going to be anytime soon. Wager that Bayo 2 is more bad shit than one. Platinum Games does not know the meaning of the word restraint. And they make nonsense. And I applaud them for making nonsense. Harry Potter! I go through here is the sealed block. This is locked. It's not fair. Alright, so I gotta be missing something. I was a big fan of the books when I was younger. Until I got to the end of book five, and then I was very, very mad. I stopped reading. And then, uh... I saw seven part two, movie-wise. Oh, it's, it's whatever. I don't care. Not really my thing. Uh, hangs from the roof beams. Beam these nuts. And I'm I'm now generally at the point where I, I, I've stopped liking a lot of stuff that I used to, primarily just due to endless nostalgia milking. Yeah, I can't do this yet. Like, the, the never-ending parade of Star Wars films uh, and Star Wars content has uh, made me not really give a shit or like Star Wars anymore. I used to think it was fun. Same with the uh, the now almost seemingly never ending bad Star Trek content that's been coming out, and now uh, of course the never ending parade of uh, Marvel movies and television shows makes me no longer give a shit about Marvel anymore. Happy for the people who still dig that sort of stuff, but just I don't I don't want any of it. I don't want any of it. I don't want it, Jer. I don't want it. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, three. The Evil Dream, Miku Hinosaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanishing. Check the door in the kimono room and collect the holy hairpin from the mirror stand. Mirror stand, huh? I guess I didn't pick up no hairpin. Hey! For the holly. Holly jelly. Wee! Hey! We did it! Yeah, I'm basically with, with Emu on that, that that particular front. Especially after uh, Star Trek Picard. Which I haven't seen, but I have seen bits of. And have read about. And uh, I'm not terribly happy!
That's fine. I don't want any part of it, though. I'm fine with missing out. It's like people tell me that I'm missing out by not watching The Mandalorian because it's a good piece of Star Wars content. Or Andor or whatever. It's like, that's fine. I'm fine with missing out. I don't want it. I'm so sick of avalanche of content from 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 uh, studios. Like I'm sure there's plenty of good Marvel shit, but I refuse to watch anything from Phase Four on. Like I have not seen uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, and I hear that movie's great, but I don't particularly care. Just because I'm so fucking sick of Marvel at this point that I'm just like, nope, I I I'm fine with missing out. Oh, ropey rope rope. Like, I'm just so burned out on it. Like, I was never the biggest Star Wars fan to begin with anyway. Like, I thought New Hope was aight. Empire was great. Every other movie was not so great for me. I always kept joking that Guardians of the Galaxy was the best Star Wars movie uh, since Empire. Because I was that kind of snarky asshole. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. 100% emo. That's kind of like whenever I heard people go, uh, what's my call it? Oh, this Star Wars movie, it is, it's a, it's a blasphemy, she ruined Star Wars. It's like, have you fucking seen Star Wars? And like, all the, uh, all the other shit. Uh, everything on the grounds is presided over by a group of shrine maidens called the Handmaidens. As a man, I'm only allowed to enter certain rooms. During the day, I'm confined to my assigned chambers. But during the night, I'm invited into the chambers of a woman named Kyoka. There isn't much contact with the outside world and the manor, and the guests are rarities, so Kyoka always listens to my stories rapidly. Uh, the sound of her plucking her koto is as fine and delicate as her hair. When I told her I was collecting songs, she let me hear a few of the folk songs passed on in the region. Seems the sleeping priest priestess uh, song has something to do with the shrine after all. Excuse me. Uh, but it is used in rituals called the Handmaiden Song here. According to Kyoka, there are four handmaidens in the manor who are girls roughly five to nine years old, chosen from nearby villages, and then made to serve term of duty. They also apparently play a crucial role in the rite of the Handmaiden Song, but Kyoka wouldn't tell me about the rite itself. Yes, and from the lyrics, I would think the rat involves a priestess and tattoos, but it would be rude of me to pry too much. <clears throat> I was simple, boy. I just want monkey. I just want lizard. Give me more lizard. But not an avalanche of lizard, please. Don't 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 ruin my love of lizard, Warner Brothers and, and Legendary, please. <clears throat> my poor dried up Grinch heart can't take it. Yeah, there's some good Star Wars video games. I loved KOTOR way back when. Episode 1 Racer Slapped. Jedi Fallen Order was neato, but, you know, I did work on that, so take that with a giant grain of salt. Granted, I briefly worked on it, so it's not like I was heavily invested in it. Yeah, hey, how's it going? You jerking it, bro? 
I never really got to play much of those um, since I didn't have really a PC. I know some of them were on PC. <clears throat> I did play uh, Dark Forces a bit. The first one. Oh, were you trying to tell me to hide over here? Yeah, I think he was. Wait a minute. I never had Shadows of the Empire. I wanted it, but I never got it. <clears throat> Instead, most of my Star Wars video game experience was spent uh, being very angry at Super Star Wars and Super Empire Strikes Back. Because those games are fuck off hard. Sucker! They were super fun. Oh, goody! I have Type 14 film! But I can't fucking use it! Uh. Mm. Camera obscura is in the hall with Tatami. Is it you? Are you fuck off hard? Is it a dick joke? Is it a D's nuts joke? You can tell me. Oh, it's over there. My mind has to be in the gutter. If it wasn't deep... Hi. You jerking it, bro? Oh shit, what the fuck are you? You go away. Hey, who said you could have that many hands? What a piece of shit. Oh good, more film for a camera I don't have yet. Can you go away. Set the cameras up there, I want it. It was hard. No! Like, can you go away? You stupid hand ghost? Yeah, there I am. Leave me alone. No. Tee hee hee. Ah, there we go. Folklore Notes 3. It's been nearly half a month since I entered this mansion. It's still snowing outside. Once the snow melts, I'll depart it from Kyoka. And most likely never be able to return. Men are not needed in the manor. If necessary, I could run away. But if possible, I would like to take Kyoka with me. That feeling is what keeps me here. 
Sometimes worshipers from nearby villagers come here. All of them cover their faces and head into the shrine. Today's worshiper seemed like a woman. She was holding a child-sized bundle. It looks as if she was crying. I can also hear that lullaby. I wonder if the ceremony is like some sort of funeral. Uh oh. Down the Peru. Ooh, upgraded one slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You blah, 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 blah. Fuck off. Where you at, buddy? Oh, hi. Tee hee hee. Apparently, my camera sucks. Tee hee hee. Tee hee 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 hee. Wow! Bro! Dude, this hand goes sucks, Ready? Excuse me. No, keep your hands away from me. Tee hee hee. No, it's sealed by some power. Not some power, chat. Get away from me. Yeah, basically. Guess you could say the ghost is trying to give me a hand. Uh, take a picture of the door on the east end that leads to the blind room in the hall with the Tommy. Hey, there you go, Emu. That'd be a first. Hello? Oh my god, an image has emerged on the photo. Uh, grab the key in the library and unlock the door in the barred hallway. Looks like somewhere else. Where doth lie? Very. That's the blind room. My ass. There, sleep. Closet hallway. Garden corridor, barred hallway, barred hallway, direction room, bell hallway, uh... Oh, the library's over here. Figure it out.
Now! Well... God damn it, I don't know where it showed up. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me. Wait, I'm just... Okay. No. Who the fuck are you? Leave me alone. Get away from me! Trying to read the guide as to where I need to go. I mean, it's like spooky ghosts is like, lol. Pause. Uh, go to the kimono room. Take a pic of the woman brushing her hair. And run. Okay, I just need to fucking remember how to fucking get to the fucking shit fuck dick mother shit fuck. Come on, around. Oh, nope, it's not over there. Well, no, it's not in here either, I don't think. Uh, I guess I'm mistaken. It's like down here. Sup, ghost bro? Oh, alright. B R B real ch uh, quick chat. It's not here. Maybe it was up here. <coughs> Dying. Yes, here we go. Hey, baby. Hey, you brushing your hair good. Hey, baby! How's it going? Okay, goodbye! No! 
Get away from me. Go away. Leave me alone. Oh, excuse me? No. Bad. Bad ghost. Stay away from me. Uh, was it over here? Oh. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Jerry being a fucking mad lad. Jerry, you stop that. Thank you for the gifted sub to Home Cross. Also, nice. Nice. Can you, like, go eat shit? I don't want anything to do with you. No, excuse me? Oh, but, oh never mind. Go! Don't do it! Oh, no. This is no good. Uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> is my controller running in a battery? Yes, it is. Oh, goody. Okay, but I do have some other batteries, so if it gives me more shit. Oh, gooch. Gooch. Hello? Oh, hello. Herbal medicine. It would go right through him. You could try, though. Just be like. Num, 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 num. Uh, grab the key in the library to unlock the door in the barred hallway and examine the cell. Where's that library? Hello? Any libraries in chat? Oh, good! We can move the fucking bookshelf now! Yes, it's a bookshelf. Thank you. It's clearly out of place. I don't know why you need to cut to it. There's a small space in the letter. I can move the bookcase. Film. Piercing of soul. Well, I can look out at the projector. Legends. <laughs> Offer up the tome of instruction written in the ink of etching of the soul. Butterfly key. Oh no, the, the, the wars are over, chat. Uh, what are the barred hallway? Hello. Get away from me. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I 
was that was all right. Just walk right through the fucking ghost. Sure, I'll take it. Let me wrap my arms around you, and we'll make pottery. But hey, we got some Type 90 out of that bullshit. Oh, fuck off! What do you want me to do? Wow, what a fucking Melvin-ass ghost. Oh, no. Wrong way! Later! See ya. Hello? Oh, where's the fucking guard hole? Hopefully soon, Emu. Hopefully very soon. Uh, definitely, most likely on Extra Life, but hopefully sooner than that. I still also gotta fucking do f that fucking stupid 24x difficulty challenge, too. So I can get my stupid fucking trophy. Oh yeah, project it. Hey. Film the person of the soul. By Christopher Nolan. Maybe. <laughs> I do hear VR makes things a lot scarier, in general. But I'm too poor to afford a VR. If I ever got a PlayStation VR, I would totally play Resident Evil 7 in VR. I don't even know what bone works is. Boner works, dude. I don't know what. Oh my god. Are there two barred hallways? Let's try to see. Mmm. Actually, once we're done with this K section, I'm gonna take a, uh, a break. Exhaustion is starting to set in. And I am a sleepy boy. Uh, unlock the door in the barred hall. Blind room, library, flickering hallway, library, barred hallway, use the butterfly key. Uh, oh, that one! Yes. Yes, now I remember. I really wish my son would let me sleep, though. It's 
then he's just, Father, Father, it's five o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the morning, it's midnight, wake the fuck up. Jojo, please. Uh, oh, oh, well. that's cool. Oh, fuck you. What do you want? Can you go? Oh, hi. The fuck away from my ass. Greedy, tell the ghost to go away. Where you going? Thank you. I'm a spooky ghost. Look at my funny hat. Uh, maybe? I, I don't know. Some asshole popped up and he tried to touch my ass. I had to be like, I told you once, I told you a thousand times, don't touch my asshole. Mia, yeah, what you doing in here? Stop being cryptic. Listen, Mio. Uh, found a part for a camera obscura. Pressure. Hey, yeah, yeah. Mio, why are you doing this Mayu shit? Cut it out. Oh, we're done. Oh, we woke up in the middle of the night. Well, we'll pick this up later. Because right now I'm going to take a nap. Before I get depressed at Silent Hill. <laughs> I love it, you know. Thank you for the quote, Greedy. Um, oh, Piku Penpai is uh, still up and Adam doing something called Chaos Ed Noah. So I'm going to send you over there. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to take a nap. Might be back live to stream the reaction to the Silent Hill thingy in like an hour. I don't know. Definitely, we'll be back uh, later tonight with RE6, though. Anyways, y'all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Uh, be excellent to each other. Jared, thank you for the gifted sub. Greedy Emu, Ashy, Will Guts, Mayhem, Niku earlier, Callington. Uh, y'all take care now. Bye.